Hello everyone and welcome back to some more of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. We're picking up right where we left off and we're gonna see exactly what is in the forest if this is indeed an entrance to the forest, which I think it might be. Mm. So we're gonna walk inside and meanwhile you back there have your eyes closed because uh, <laughs> motion I'm sickness. Looking. Actually, look at this now. Maybe you can open it. Alright, I'm gonna look here so mind yourself. I said on Twitter that we were playing this and then uh, Lady sure here is getting motion sickness from watching yes. like the camera turns. It was bad. And uh just to be wary. I think it's it's locked for good. Oh, that's so lame. We're not allowed to leave. So this was a false trail anyway. Lame. Oh, keep this in mind for later. Maybe we can come back here. And I'm pretty sure someone else said this too, that there is a run button. But I'd kind of figured out on my own that if you hold R2, eventually he seems to speed up. It's very subtle though. It gradually builds up over time. So as I was editing some of those videos, I noticed there were a couple things we missed. Some locations, so I'm actually gonna travel back there. You might want to keep your eyes closed for the trip back. Okay. I'll let you know when we do find some new content. Because I noticed there were houses that I saw that we missed. So I'm gonna head back towards that area. And I'm sure you guys will have a riveting time with me watching us slowly walk back to uh, wherever it is that we're heading towards. Well, they'll have a better time than me just sitting here with my eyes closed. Yeah, you can enjoy the sounds of the, the birds and foliage rustling and that kind of thing. Yeah, because we went up to the left last time, and I think these ones on the, the lower road we didn't see. Maybe? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, well, definitely, because now look, there's a new thing here. Alright, what do you want? Nothing? Come on. I'm assuming you have something to tell me. No? Do I have to do something with the controller? Here, I'll shake it. I don't know if that's actually doing anything. Here we go. Okay, finally it's registering. That was weird. You have to be standing in the exact spot to get that to work. Is everything alright? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen! Whoa. Uh-oh. Alright, seems like they were in a fight. Mm-hmm. Stephen and Kate. Alright, so definitely a good thing we came back this way. Are you going away now? Yeah? Alright. So they argued about something. I guess I might as well check this house now. And over here. All right, we're saving. Let's see. Well, we can't get in anyway. But can we go around it? It's so pretty. <laughs> Have you dared to open your eyes to see this? Yes. Very brave of you. Cause I'm gonna be looking around now, so I want to close them again. Fine. <laughs> oh. Other than the uh, the prettiness, I don't think you're missing too much. But it's so pretty. I was hoping maybe for a radio or something, but I don't think we have even that. So while you're back there, because <laughs> you're, actually I forgot to mention to the, the audience as well, that in addition to, you know, closing your eyes every now and then, you've also positioned yourself further away from the TV than I am. Yes, I'm like behind the couch that he's sitting on. So it's an interesting setup. Wow, does that move with us? Let's see. Yeah, I think it does. That's kind of cool. Look at that. We move it. Aww. It has physics behind it. Yay. All right, we actually can't go there though. So back it, back we go again. Well, I'm glad we came here, if only for that. That was fun. So I think there was one last thing, and it was up. This road, was it now? Remember when we found that missile there? Yeah. That was like really out of place. I still can't really tell what that means. If it was like the government that tried to uh, like cover everything up? Maybe? I don't know. We went up to the church, but we didn't take this we road. We didn't take this road though. And we didn't go to that house down there. Does this take us down there maybe? I hear a radio. Me too. It's down there. Alright, we'll go this way first, then we'll go back down. Or maybe this will take us down. Ah, there you go. Here we are. K, 
Can we get back there? Maybe this opens up? It looks open. Remember, we have a very wide girth, so we have to, uh... <laughs> forgot. We have to open things up fully. Look, there's a football goal thingy. Electrical failures all over Tower 6. The light is flowing like liquid. Its sense of purpose is overwhelming. There's something in... Steven? Steven, is that you? Hmm. Interesting. I heard something. What did you hear? Oh, and also from editing those videos, as I was able to tell that the apparition that we see, that like that light apparition, I guess we can't kick that. Oh. It definitely did disappear around the same time that the church bell rang. So I'm guessing it has some significance as to why it stopped at that exact moment. Hmm. And we haven't seen it since then. So that's certainly something to note. I'm assuming. All right, so we can't get back here. Uh, that's the town hall we were already in. Yes, we were there already. There was more along this road, back here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one other final disclaimer regarding the uh, the recordings themselves, I guess. I did notice there's like a little bit of audio like popping every now and then, even as I'm playing this right now. So I'm not sure if that's, it might have to do with like recording the PS4, which I'm kind of unfamiliar with. Uh, I guess I will try to see if there's a way to fix that in case it is still present in this new video as well. But it wasn't too bad, I don't think. Of course you guys can let me know otherwise. I might have gotten myself cornered in here. Let's see <laughs> if there's a way out. I don't, oh yes, there is. Of course. So we weren't at this house either. Is there anything else in this field though? I mean, I'll a take a tractor. quick look over here. Make sure there's no hidden radios that we should be listening to. I think there is. Ah, perfect. I've been recording the pattern for three hours and so far have accumulated over three megabytes of binary data. The pattern does not at this point seem to be part of any recognizably closed loop, but there remains symmetry. Despite the conflicts. <laughs> Back when three megabytes was actually a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, did we find out a time frame? Is this really 1984? You assumed 1984. We saw something that was said that was like the uh, emergency bill of 1982 or whatever. So we know it's after 82. Yeah, or 82 presumably. or after. I, I know it's after, but it could be any number of years in between. I know. I don't know. Oh, this... Meg? Oh. Meg, are you here? I'm in the lounge. There are too many empty houses tonight. Most of the village has gone now. My head's killing me. Have you listened to the phones? No, I thought they were all dead. There's a strange kind of static now. I think I heard numbers in it. It sounded like the American woman. Kate? She's still alive. No one's seen her. I is Charlie back? Not yet, no. I'm sorry. That's all right, Father. Listen, you go on ahead. I'll just rest here a little longer. Sleep well. Hmm. Alright, so Kate is American. I thought before that she didn't have an accent, so I was wondering. But I didn't know that was supposed to be her voice. It's hard to tell. It sounds very uh, monotone and robotic. But they said they heard numbers in the static, and it sounded like the American woman, so... I guess it's supposed to be her? Yeah. Or they just think all Americans sound the same, which could be. <laughs> or maybe that's it. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, let's have another look around this house. Very dark in here, once again. Luckily, it does look a little bit brighter in the videos, I think. You guys can let me know otherwise. Alright, we don't need to hear that again. Should we go upstairs? All right, let's sure, take a look. Not? Oh, they had horses. There were horses at one point, but not anymore. It's a whole lot of nothing. A computer. And lots of data of some sort. Can you read it? I can't from all the way back here. 
I could get closer to the screen and read it, but... Alright. I'm gonna try it anyway. Hold on a second. Yeah, I think it's just records for the farm. Does it say 1986? It says 1984, I think, oh, so... Oh, snap! It's 1984. Yeah, January 1984, and this was on Monday the 4th. Holy crap, I was right. Well, there you go. So yeah, just the farmer's account book, so I'm guessing nothing too important. The voice... Something? Of the stars? I'm thinking mm. it's of the... Oh wait, I forgot about that. We can always just turn on the lights. Let's try doing that from now on. Makes things a little bit more, uh... Brighter around here. Well, we can't even go in there anyway. So that was a waste. We're gonna leave all their lights on. Yes. Well, then we'll know we've been in there. That's true. Do you like these, uh, European light switches more than the American ones? Wait, do they look different? Yeah, they're like a push button where ours are usually like a flipper. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, some houses and rooms, like, I think... At, like, the schools I went to, they usually have switches like this for the classrooms. Maybe they, like, save power somehow. I don't know. I don't know. I think they're just a nicer design. They're easier to hit. Yeah, they are. Just, like, have to tap it rather than, you know, flick it mm -hmm. up and down because that's so much effort. Right. Looks so, uh, so weird in here. See how it's, like, dusty in the air? Yeah, but that kind of stuff is everywhere, all over the whole town. Maybe that's, like, what's left of the people. That's what I was thinking, too, because she died in here. Or she disappeared in here. Because I think I mentioned this before. Well, I'll just say it now in the story. I mentioned to you, it just kind of reminds me of uh, an H.P. Lovecraft story as well. I, mean, I think it kind of similar. The fuck? What the hell? Alright, I was about to tell a story, but... I got vibrations, and I heard a weird sound. Now it seems to stop, though. I don't really know what that means. They happen all the time. You always say, like, oh, vibrate. I know, it's usually when I'm leaving a house, but it doesn't happen all the time. It's just really weird and startling. Maybe that's the point. Because you don't realize, it actually vibrates, like, a lot. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, there's an HP Lovecraft story called, uh... I think it's the color out of space. And what happens in that story is one day this, I guess it's supposed to be like an asteroid or something, or a meteorite, it falls in this town in somewhere in New England, because that's where like every H.P. Lovecraft story is set. And what happens is the whole land around uh, where the meteorite falls starts to get like, drained of color. Like, everything starts... Actually, I think what originally happens, it starts turning this, like, weird color, which is unlike... unlike any other color we've ever seen on Earth. So it's like, you can't really imagine it, because it's just a strange, abnormal, supernatural color. But slowly afterwards, everything starts turning gray, and the land around the place starts becoming blighted. Like, crops are still growing, but instead of being uh, edible... They're, like, tasteless, and they're not nutritious at all. The livestock start getting poisoned as well by this, like, whole blighted thing. And they start... I thought I saw something for a second, but I guess not. So, yeah, the livestock are poisoned by this as well. And, uh, you know, their meat's inedible. And eventually what starts happening is, uh, the people start getting affected by this, start going crazy. And it all culminates in the very end of the story. Spoilers for those who, uh... Don't want to know the ending to the story if you even heard of it before. But, uh, one of the main characters is, uh, investigating this, this, like, weird happening. And they notice that the farmer, or the farmer's wife or someone it, who it is, I don't remember, is, uh, who is mad and confined to this room. They just all of a sudden break down into ash before their very eyes. Ooh, and they're just creepy. dispersed in the air. And that's kind of what this reminds me of a bit. St <laughs> that and all the weird sounds are uh, going off in the distance. So are we going to the forest now? Or I'm pretty sure step? I got a good look at everything now. So I'm going to head towards the forest and see what happens. And it's this road. So you just have to walk straight ahead and see what happens. <laughs> 